Xiaomi is once again making killer mid-range phones with the Redmi Note 11 series and I've got the Redmi Note 11 and the Note 11 S here which both of them sport very decent spec sheet and flagship level cameras but are these the real deal and which one should you go for? Let's talk about it The Redmi Note 11 and Note 11s are really hard to tell apart by just looking at them alone because they both sport the same 6.43 inch 90Hz AMOLED display with a punch hole camera cutter on the front, which both are equally bright and colorful. Even the bag comes with the same paint job from a graphite grey color model, but the only difference here is the camera array. The Note 11s has a larger 108 megapixel main camera that results in an awkward bump as opposed to the Note 11's 50 megapixel main camera, but that's something that I think most people don't really care and once you put on the case, the camera bump is no longer obvious. Now specs wise, the review units I have with me right here are the base storage configuration models. The Redmi Note 11 is powered by a Snapdragon 680 chip supported by 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The Redmi Note 11S is powered by a MediaTek Helio G96 chip and is supported by 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. In some ways, you might think that the Redmi Note 11 should be a better performing device because of the Snapdragon chip, but that's quite the contrary. Because the Helio G96 chip on the Redmi Note 11S is faster in app launches and graphics performance. When I tried gaming on these two devices, the Redmi Note 11S isn't too hot to handle and it's the same for the Redmi Note 11. Power consumption wise, the Redmi Note 11 and Note 11S are equipped with a 5000mAh battery and supports 33W quick charging. There's very little or almost no difference when I use them moderately for the past week with around 3 hours off screen on time. And they will usually last me till the end of next day, which is very impressive. Now, cameras. The Redmi Note 11S's main camera naturally has the upper hand here as I was surprised by how much better it is than the Redmi Note 11 in terms of colors and details. It also has a wider field of view than the Note 11's main camera and the difference in image quality is even more obvious when it comes to low light. Where the Redmi Note 11S handled light flare and details better and is quite on par with some flagship cameras I have used. Although both phones sport the same resolution and specs on their ultra-wide and macro lenses, the Redmi Note 11S surprisingly produced better image quality than the Note 11, and while I don't approve either of their macro shots, the ultra-wide shot is definitely one of the best I've seen on mid-range phones. Selfie-wise, the winner is once again the Redmi Note 11S. So there you have it, the winner is pretty obvious in this comparison. Although the Redmi Note 11 has a lower starting price than the Note 11S, it isn't exactly significant to be honest if you are aiming for the base storage model of these phones. Although you are getting twice the internal storage on the Redmi Note 11 on the base storage model, you can expand storage with a micro SD card on the Redmi Note 11S if you opt for the 64GB model. Personally, I would recommend that you go straight for the Redmi Note 11S if you can, but if shelling an extra 100 ringgit for you is an issue, the Redmi Note 11 is still a great phone that does the essentials right. So that's pretty much about this comparison between the Redmi Note 11 and the Note 11S. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on which model that you prefer, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right out. I'm Warren, and I will see you guys in our next video.